<laughs> Brad's in meltdown. <laughs> If you want to see why Brad's in meltdown, go to watch the rest of the video. <laughs> Fucking drew it on myself. <laughs> G'day mate, this is Dave And this is Brad And this is the Travelling Brothers Cigar Review And we're the Travelling Brothers um, <laughs> You notice that we're, we're filming in a different location today Because I yeah, uh, Why is that Brad? I what? called the union and said that I can't work under those conditions in the devil's den So welcome to the devil's labyrinth outside here in your Dave the devil's estate here Yeah, in and it's still bloody hot, so I don't know and we we got we got to get an inside smoking air conditioned smoking space or a fan or a fan <laughs> the fan always the fan well it's a, you know it pushes air yeah. and makes things mm -hmm. a lot colder yeah you know like it's not stale yeah. and sweaty yeah and noisy and smells a little bit of what australia i imagine would smell like yeah no <laughs> all right so straight into it enough of your crap what are we smoking today dave here we go what are we smoking today I have got a winner for you. Actually, speaking of winners, Brad, I just thought of something. So, we did our first video a couple of weeks back and we've got a lot of likes and it's very good. Thank you very much, everybody. But our very first comment was from a guy called Marin. And oh, so, right. what we're going to do is we're going to send out one of these traveling, uh, traveling humidors to Marin with uh, a lighter and a... And a cutter and a cigar in it and a little bevita pack because that other thing as we pointed out was useless and uh and we're going to send him one of the cigars we did the other week the um fleur de la centilis excellent that seems like a total bargain it's getting something nice. free just for saying hey good job so that brings up the point that you probably should comment below because we are sending out some really cool stuff to uh to our traveling fellow traveling brothers to our fellow cigar smokers Wrap your lips around that one. Oh, Foundation Cigar. Yeah. I thought you never would get here. Have you smoked that one before, Brett? I have never smoked um, th this cigar. Um, what is it called there, Brett? Um, my, uh, the, the Wise Man. Yes, but that's that's in the small print. What's it say above it, it there? The wise man. So if you go in and you are uh, going to a tobacco store, a, uh, not a tobacco store, my goodness, a cigar store, a premium cigar shop, a brick and mortar premium cigar shop, and you ask for the wise man, you will not get this cigar. You'll get a Maduro version of this cigar because this one's not called that. So what's it say on the label there, Brad? It it's it's L. Um, El Gu Let me help you out. El Guget UNC. Yeah, and that's probably why El they Gugu. changed the Maduro to the wise man. It's the El Gugu. El Wawense. El Wawense. El... Yeah, it's... Yeah. And El I'm the American. El Wawense. And, and uh, this was the first... This was the first cigar, I think, that Nick Melillo from Foundation Cigars released... After he left Drew Estate, Nick Malilo is a yeah, he's actually a bloody nice guy. I had a uh, had a good long conversation with him uh, on uh, Zoom recently. Well, that I, that I did miss that opportunity to have that. Yeah. Uh, I was traveling as I usually am, but I did not know that. I didn't know this was his first cigar out of um, his time at Drew Estates, right? Like he did a lot for them. Yeah, so he's responsible behind a large portion of their their uh, their cigars. I think his famous one is the Liga Nine, right? Oh, um, I, I I know that that Liga Nine is something else, right? It's I, I call that one of the uh, put your butt in the chair kind of cigars. It's like a you. great cigar, but I tell you what, um, he's followed it up now. This was his first cigar. 
uh, the El Wawense coming out of there, but he followed that up very quickly with the Tabernacles, I think, with next. Oh, those are great as well. And uh, so then he's got a Tabernacle Havana Seed as well. Um, and, of course, the um, um, Wise Man, which is a Maduro version of this cigar. Uh, then he's got the Charter Oaks. And the High Clare Castle too, right? The High Clare Castle is something special. I actually had not had one of those until very recently. Um, and, um, yeah, and you can see I'm toasting my cigar even after carrying on about how it doesn't matter. It does matter a lot to the burn. I think, Brad, we've had a few comments from people that we need to do a, a proper why you toast your cigar and what the advantages are. So we might do one of those later. I don't toast my cigar. I know you don't. Well, technically I'm toasting right now. <laughs> toasting my toasty. <laughs> oh, wow, that's, that's good stuff. Oh, look at how beautiful that burn started there. And we're going to pair it today on this hot afternoon with this. Oh, good. What is it? Coffee. It is. You can it's, smell it from here. It's actually Black Rifle Coffee. There we go. Black Rifle Coffee. Coming home with me. No, I don't think so. So what we're drinking here, hot day drink. It's perfect. We've got an espresso. Uh, espresso topped up with cold water and ice. And uh, perfect for, for a cigar. I love this branded coffee. Um, who, who's, a, who, who's the guy that runs in and is all over the place with it? Uh, you're probably talking about Matt Best. Oh, yeah. I follow Matt Best on everything. So, this so guy is great. He's the, he's, the, he's, the pretty, he's the pretty face behind the, the coffee. There's actually a... He's, uh, kind of like I'm the pretty face that, behind the there's cigar actually, There's actually a, a CEO whose name nobody knows. Uh, well, they do know, but it, it, he's very forgettable. You, you have to admit I'm the pretty face, though. <laughs> So, no, Matt, Matt Best, uh, we love supporting uh, Black Rifle Coffee. All the guys at our cigar lounge smoke this. Uh, a lot of our brothers smoke this, uh, drink this, smoke it. I wonder if you could smoke coffee. There's only one way to find out, Dave. Get you to do it? <laughs> that could be a thing. We should roll some coffee. Roll some coffee. Well, technically, aren't there, like, infused coffee cigars? So that'd be like, yeah, there is. Um, yeah, let's, Maybe let's... we should get Black Rifle to infuse a cigar. Wouldn't that be something else? Get them to get some coffee flavoring going in there. Get a black rifle coffee infused cigar. Yep. I think there's a marketing pitch there. I think uh, I think there might be something there. Yeah. I know we're carrying on about the coffee right now. We're not, we're not supported by anybody. Uh, we just want to get the gratuitous uh, links I'm in from by some, uh, people like that. supports best. me. <laughs> what are you making on this cigar so far, Brad? That's a smooth cigar, Dave. Mm. I'm. Get a nice hit going here. I'm getting some like very mellow tones on it. The burn is perfect on the cigar. Um, I think just similar to my father's, I'm getting like that nutty little undertone. It's very earthy. Mm. I think it's good. It's a bit, it's a bit more spice. A little bit. It's more spice. A little bit spicy. Not not a hot spicy. Everything is hot right now, Dave. Everything's hot right now. <laughs> Cigar's hot. The coffee's hot. I'm hot. The coffee's cold. See what you did there. Yeah. So listen, while we're uh, smoking the El Wawense, let's have a little chat about Foundation Cigars and um, about some of their other lines. So you mentioned um, uh, Infused coffee infused and so forth now uh, a cigar I tried only recently actually at Nick Melillo's his request yeah his request his thank you his recommendation yeah so oh yeah so we're really lucky we had a we had a, a, a zoom call with Nick Melillo and um, uh, some of the guys from our local cigar lounge and he's uh, he's been really supportive and I just got to say um, you know I had some um, foundation cigars that were not burning well Oh yeah, you you told me yeah, about this. They were they were tunneling, and um, I told Nick about it, and he said, "Give them straight back to me." He said, "Give them straight back to me, and we'll sort you out." You gotta love somebody that stands behind their brand. Yeah, right? it clearly does, and he wants to know. He's 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 really focused on his quality of his cigars and making sure that everything is just right, 
And so, and, and a lot of the manufacturers are just, if you go to a cigar, uh, a cigar lounge and you buy a cigar and it just is not smokable, you know, like it burns horribly or it falls apart or anything like that, take it back to them, say to them, hey, listen, this is, uh, this is not right. And often they'll really look after you. I mean, but uh, I was impressed with, uh, with Nick's response. Uh, it was just basically give me that box back and I'll send you a new one. Which is why we smoke foundation support people that are just yeah. downright incredible. Mm. Um, and I, I, I was hand, again, you know, this is why you support your local lounge, right? So I went mm. down there. I was talking to, um, I think, the manager there. And he knows I'm a huge Drew Estates whore, right? And I just love everything about Drew Estates. And I'm in every, you know, I was smoking a Liga 9 every other day because that's just, I, that's where my flavor loves to run to. And he's like, here, wah, try this, right? Yeah. And he handed me a tabernacle. Right. Great cigar. And man, blew me away. That tabernacle was incredible. Yeah. It was absolutely incredible. Had everything I was looking for from the burn to that cocoa taste to that like mild espresso. Everything I love about a deep, dark, loving cigar, right? And that's how you started getting into it. And then they, then they brought out the Havana Seed. So it's a little bit like... If you compare them, not that they're actually comparable anymore, but um, if you compare them to the Drew line, there's the Liga 9 and the T52. That's a little bit like the Tabernacle and the Tabernacle, Tabernacle Havana Seed, right? Mm -hmm. There's that those subtle differences between the two that are significant but subtle. And they're just growing in popularity. And I love their labels. I mean, this label on the El Wawense, this is got some really nice artwork on it that represents the the wise man it's a folklore character of, of the wise man if you look on uh, if you look on their page they've got some really colorful I like tipping the hat to it tipping the hat to the culture yeah, yeah for sure like they they really uh, he likes to represent the the history and the the background of where things come from and mm. and uh he's, he's quite into the culture and dave as i'm sitting out here where i'm i'm wondering you know normally we always got a a glass of wine or a nice bourbon or whiskey in our hands. Mm -hmm. You know, we're sitting out here having an iced coffee that, you know, I fought you on drinking coffee right now. Yeah. Like, literally, I was so angry that you wanted to drink a cup of coffee. But it goes so well with this cigar. But it does. And it's actually refreshing. Mm. So, when you're not having a nice Moscato with your cigar. So, I said, to you, I said to you, let's have a coffee. And you said, no way, it's too freaking hot. Actually, you didn't say that. I, I said freaking because of the whole censorship thing. I don't know how to beep something out of the footage yet. I know how to beep you out. <laughs> so, but, beep. We, but we went, we beep. went. So we beep. went, we, Will you stop it? <laughs> so we, beep. I knew it. <laughs> All right, I'm done. I'm done. I'm really. Are you sure? No. You were saying, uh, no coffee today. Nope, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I've forgotten what I was saying. I think I was talking about the coffee. Is uh, that an age thing? Espresso and uh, a, a, a espresso straight out of the nice coffee machine, poured over ice, cold water, refreshing drink. What else do you like to drink on a hot day with a cigar? I don't know, you know, like, you're sitting outside and, like, you don't want to, like, a lemonade with a cigar wouldn't go, mm. right? Mm. Yeah, um, might go with, like, a sweet cigar. I don't I don't know, like, I would, I, a nice cold glass of iced tea, you know, like, very mild iced tea or a peach iced tea, something that has, like, yeah. a mild sweetness to it. I don't like sweet stuff, man. Yeah. I, I like, I like something that's got a little savory flavor to it, and, like, a, a black tea has a nice yeah. savory flavor to it, but... I don't know. This is a, this is a like a topic that that needs discussion. It's like, what do you pair with cigars on a hot day? Mm. I don't know. Some wines go good outside, but you know, I don't want to sit there and. I, I, what red wines would go good? Right, that Zinfandel we had the other day was great. So the Zinfandel, because you can chill it, you know. Ah, oh, yeah, good point. You can chill a nice. Zinfandel. That's and that that's nice. And some of those summery wines, but you do you have to pick it right because. You don't want your drink to overpower your cigar, and you don't want your cigar to overpower your drink. Hmm. You know what I mean? That's yeah, why they call it pairing. I mean, 
Uh, I started talking earlier on about a cigar that Nick Melillo had recommended to me, which was the Django. We were talking about coffee infused, remember? And we got totally waylaid. Yeah. We waffled on too much. What, what was that? I said we waffled on too much. I don't want any waffles. No, wa waffled on. <laughs> it means talk too much. You're going to have to put descriptors on these videos. Okay, I'll put I need a translator. <laughs> need an Australian. Get your Google Translate out and see if it'll translate Google uh, Australian to American. Is. So, anyway, we still haven't talked about the cigar. So, the oh, Django. Right. Okay. Have you tried the Django? I've seen the Django on It's Chain. one of the upsetters. The upsetters are uh, uh, the range of... Um, I, uh, do you call them infused cigars? They're not actually infused, I don't think. I think they're uh, they're... Well, they're not flavoured, but they may be infused. We'll have to get some details on that. We've got to do a review on that one. I that is do. a sweet cigar. I'm that, not doing it then. No, that's a sweet cigar you like. Seriously. We're, we're going to do one. We're going to do a Django real soon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll surprise you with it. Mm -mm -mm. And that one, you could have with a lemonade. You could have with a, a you know, a, a, what do you call it over here? You like call it pop and... Look what I did. I didn't ash my cigar. Good job. Look at it. Look at this. Good job. Yeah, it's exciting. I wait learned something. It, wait till it falls on you. No, that's not going to happen. Uh -huh. It ain't going to happen because Melillo made this cigar so perfect that it's burning see, just so well. See your audience there, YouTube audience? This is called learning. You struggle with that sometimes? Yeah. Okay. Mm. You know, we were sitting here filming a couple of minutes ago and you, you, you got roosters roaming around your property or something. Yeah, the guy over the back's a cock. <laughs> That's a horrible joke. <laughs> you said rooster. <clears throat> That's what you call him, right? You can't say cock on camera. It's talking about a rooster. Oh, I don't know. Hey, what if they made a cigar that had a rooster on it? And so, then and, the, and they called it the cock. That you stick in your mouth? I'm yeah. sure you would enjoy that yeah. a lot. You think it'd sell? For you, at least. <laughs> I'm just walking around with a cock in your mouth. <laughs> a fucking video too. <laughs> you can bet it so well. <laughs> fucking putting cocks in your mouth. <laughs> Oh shit, <clears throat> this is going to be a long road. <laughs> These videos are going to be really bad for us. <laughs> Brad's in meltdown. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good setup. Uh. Well... Traveling Brothers, we're going to come back here at the end and let you know what we think of the last part of this cigar. And uh, we're going to hold off here. So we'll come back right after this. Catch you later. For me, I'm starting to see that as we keep smoking, like as you know, like you smoke more cigars over and over and over again. Yeah. You develop such a longing for complex cigars. Mm. And when Mike handed me that year of the rat, the Davidoff, and that's the beauty of the lounge, right? Like, going yeah. to a lounge, the beauty yeah. of it is he would not let... He he was p upset that I had not tried that cigar. Yeah. For being, a, like, a seasoned... Like, I'm not a seasoned cigar smoker. You know, you've seen about I've 70 more. retro hair. You gotta bring up the retro hair again? I gotta bring up the retro hair. Yeah. You Can know, you, I, I have don't... Have you been practicing? I, I, Do I, I need to get you a stunt double? I'm gonna try... Maybe. <laughs> I'm gonna try to retro hill in a second when we go back on onto the review. Well, we're we're part way into it here, and I'm pretty sure I've turned the camera on. Mm. Uh, so could you could you show me how to do it? Could you can you walk me through how to retro yeah. hill again? Yeah, so yeah. Usually that involves instruction, Dave. I feel like you're setting me up for failure. That was a lot. We'll work on that. Holy shit. Everything's on fire. Oh. So now you can taste the spices, right? I can cry. I'm crying. <laughs> I don't taste any. Oh, wow. 
Oh, why'd you do that? Next video, we'll get you a stunt double for that. Yeah, please. Somebody. Anybody. <laughs> but I was saying is Mike literally shoved that cigar down in my throat to try mm -hmm. the Davidoff You're the Rat. Because mm -hmm. I would not spend the $35 or whatever on a cigar, right? Unless yeah. I know I'm going to like it. And man. Yeah, but you've never... I know you're sitting in front of a camera now doing YouTube videos and reviews. But you weren't really into watching reviews on YouTube or anything, were you? No, you, you, you sat me down and we watched a number of videos and yeah. I, it was quite entertaining and and that's where we came up with it you know like a lot of uh there's a lot of there's a lot of people review cigars out there um it's almost like they don't want to say anything bad about the cigars but we've made it we've made a promise to ourselves if we don't like a cigar we're going to tell you but that doesn't mean that somebody else won't like it so i mean uh everybody's taste is different like that's that's i don't why taste so anything right now no <laughs> Yeah, well, have some of that Black Rifle coffee. Um, so, but you do want to get an idea. So, I mean, watch some reviews. Watch some other reviews before you go out and buy a cigar. But, but like we say, don't just get stuck on the same ones day in, day out. I mean, you don't want to be married to a cigar, right? Or a cock in your mouth. <laughs> rooster, a rooster. Don't you can't backtrack now. <laughs> <laughs> your, your neighbor's cock has definitely uh, made an appearance. Hmm. So, have you got much of a transition happening, or like much changed? Actually, no. This has been really consistent through. I can yeah. tell you, the spice has kicked up a little bit. I, yeah, I think the spice has kicked up a little bit. In the not in a bad way. No, no, not in a bad way. It's keeping my taste. It's keeping my my flavor taste. And, my flavor buds and and, in, and the in burn the is the burn is pretty good. Like yeah. uh, this is a, this is a good nightcap cigar. I now see I, nightcap cigar. I'd still have this on a nice hot day. Yesterday when we were sitting in the river, yeah, smoking cigars. Mm -hmm. One of these would have gone nice. I think so, because it's got enough spice in it, but it's still. Smooth enough uh, that it's not overpowering your, your taste buds. It's not gonna. It's not gonna put your ass in the chair. Yeah, and and it's not. Uh, it's not super strong. I'd still call it medium. You sold me. This is a good mid afternoon. Mm. Hot afternoon, mid afternoon. Winery. Winery would be a yeah. Take it to the winery. Oh, Sit down great. at the winery. Um, Brewery, winery, distillery. Take, take this one up do. to Big Cork and sit in their cigar patio. Mm, good, you said big cork, not big, big cork, not big cock. Yeah, not rooster. It's not a rooster for you anymore. <laughs> well, well, we've got to stop now because the boss is coming. My wife. So uh, we'll catch you later. Enjoy the El Wednesday. See you later, we'll traveling see you brothers. Soon. See you later, traveling brothers. Or traveling cigars. Traveling brother cigars. Or traveling cigars. Traveling cigars.